Plimpton 322 is arguably the most interesting, most sophisticated mathematical document from the ancient world. The AI's processors hummed for days, churning through patterns no human eye could ever see. Its objective, a 3,700-year-old Babylonian tablet named Plimpton 322. At the time, we didn't realize how important it was. Subsequently, it has become one of the most studied objects from the ancient world. For a hundred years, this artifact was a mystery, believed to be a mere teacher's aid. Then, the AI finished its analysis. The result it produced was not a translation of words, but of pure mathematics. It was a perfect, elegant system of geometry that shouldn't exist for another 1,500 years. This discovery doesn't just change history books. It reveals a terrifying truth about a lost intelligence that defies explanation. The Clay Tablet in the Dark For over 100 years, it sat in the quiet, climate-controlled archives of Columbia University. A broken piece of baked clay, about 5 inches wide and 3 and a half inches tall. It's known as Plimpton 322 discovered in the early 1900s in the sun-scorched earth of modern-day Iraq near the ancient Sumerian city of Larsa. It was unearthed by a man who was equal parts archaeologist, diplomat, and treasure hunter, Edgar Banks, the real-life inspiration for Indiana Jones. He, like everyone else for a century, had no idea what he had found. The tablet was covered in a complex script called cuneiform, one of the earliest systems of writing, made by pressing a reed stylus into wet clay. But this wasn't a story or a king's decree. It was just numbers, four columns and 15 rows of them. You see, for decades, the brightest minds in archeology span and history looked at Plimpton 322 and came to a very simple conclusion. They figured it was a kind of teacher's aid, a list of mathematical problems for students to solve. Or perhaps it was a simple accounting ledger used by a scribe to keep track of goods. It seemed logical. The Babylonians were known for their trade and bureaucracy, after all. The numbers were written in their sexagesimal system, a base 60 system. It's the reason we still have 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. This system was incredibly advanced for its time. But still, the tablet was seen as nothing more than a historical curiosity, a relic of ancient arithmetic. What many overlooked was that the patterns on the tablet just didn't seem random. There was an order to them, a strange, almost elegant progression that no one could quite explain. Many people are crazy about finding hidden messages in ancient artifacts, but this wasn't about conspiracy. This was about a nagging feeling among a few mathematicians that something was deeply wrong with the official story. The numbers in the columns seemed to relate to the sides of right-angled triangles what we know today from the Pythagorean theorem. But the thing nobody tells you is that this tablet was written more than 1,000 years before Pythagoras was even born. How could the Babylonians have known this? And why would they create such a long, complex list of these Pythagorean triples? Some of the numbers were huge, describing triangles so vast and precise they would have been nearly impossible to discover by accident. For example, one row corresponds to a triangle with sides measuring 12,709 and 13,500. It simply made no sense. For a century, the tablet's true purpose remained a ghost, a whisper of a lost knowledge that haunted the edges of history. It was a message frozen in time, waiting for a key that humanity simply didn't have. But that was about to change. In our modern world of data and processing power, a new kind of mind was about to be turned loose on this ancient puzzle, an artificial intelligence. The silence was about to be broken, and the message would be terrifying. Unlocking the Babylonian genius. Traditional methods had failed. For generations, scholars had stared at Plimpton 322, but they were looking at it through the lens of our own mathematics. They were searching for what they already knew. The breakthrough came when researchers decided to stop looking for familiar patterns and instead just let a machine look for any pattern. They fed a high-resolution scan of the tablet into a specialized AI, an artificial intelligence designed to find relationships in massive datasets that are invisible to the human eye. 
The AI wasn't programmed with any preconceived notions about history or math. It was just a pure, logical mind, and it began to churn through the 3,700-year-old data. It analyzed every wedge, every line, every tiny imperfection in the clay. What the AI found was, to put it mildly, a bombshell. It confirmed that the tablet was indeed about triangles, but it was not just a random list of examples. It was a trigonometric table. Now the word trigonometry might give you flashbacks to high school math class, but stick with me because this is where it gets mind-blowing. Our trigonometry, the kind the ancient Greeks are credited with inventing around 120 BC, is based on angles and circles. It's filled with approximations, numbers that go on forever, like pi. It's useful, but it's not perfect. What the AI revealed was that the Babylonians had created a completely different kind of trigonometry, one based not on angles, but on exact ratios. Using their base 60 number system, they had created the world's only completely accurate trigonometric table. It was perfect. There were no approximations, no rounding errors, just pure mathematical elegance. Imagine you're an ancient builder tasked with constructing a massive ziggurat a stepped pyramid reaching for the heavens. You need to get the slope of the walls exactly right, over and over again, for each level. With Greek-style trigonometry, you'd always have tiny errors that would add up. But with the system on Plimpton 322, you could calculate perfect slopes, perfect angles, every single time. The AI showed that the 15 rows on the tablet describe a sequence of 15 right-angled triangles, whose slopes decrease in a steady, logical way. It was a powerful tool, a master blueprint for construction and surveying. This wasn't a dusty old piece of homework. This was a work of unparalleled genius. The AI didn't just translate the tablet. It decoded a lost science. It proved that over 1,500 years before the Greeks, the Babylonians were not just doing basic math. They were doing a better, more perfect form of it than we have today. And this revelation opened the door to a truly terrifying question. Building a different world. The message of Plimpton 322 is terrifying not because it predicts the end of the world, but because it proves that a huge chapter of our own history is a lie. The neat, orderly progression of human knowledge that we are taught in school, from the Babylonians to the Egyptians, then the Greeks, the Romans, and on to us, is wrong. It suggests that there was a massive peak in understanding, a moment of sheer genius nearly 4,000 years ago, that was then completely lost. It was forgotten for millennia, only to be rediscovered in a broken form by the Greeks. What many overlooked is the sheer scale of this intellectual gap. It's like finding the blueprints for a starship in a medieval castle. It just shouldn't be there. So. Let's just think about this for a second. If they had this perfect form of math, what could they do with it? This wasn't just for building pyramids. Trigonometry is the language of the universe. It's used to measure distances between stars, to engineer complex machines, to survey vast landscapes. Could the Babylonians have mapped the Earth with a precision we can't even imagine? Could they have predicted astronomical events with an accuracy that would rival modern computers? The legendary Hanging Gardens of Babylon were one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. What if they weren't just gardens on a hill, but an architectural marvel of geometry and engineering, built using this lost mathematical perfection? It forces us to wonder what else they knew. This tablet is likely just one page from a much larger body of work. A single surviving piece of a library of genius. The truly terrifying part is the concept of lost knowledge. It means that humanity can go backward. It means that an entire civilization can possess a scientific understanding far beyond their time, only for it to be wiped from existence by war, disaster, or simply the passage of time. Are there other tablets buried under the sands of Iraq, holding even greater secrets? Blueprints for technologies we have yet to invent? A deeper understanding of physics or astronomy? The AI's discovery of this perfect math on a single tablet suggests we are looking at the tip of a colossal iceberg. We've always seen the Babylonians as an ancient, primitive people. But the message of Plimpton 322 
is that they may have been more advanced in some ways than we are today. They were not just starting the journey of discovery. They may have been at a destination we haven't even reached yet. And that leads us to the biggest mystery of all. Where did it go? A message for the future? So, how does a civilization with this kind of knowledge just vanish? This is the question that keeps historians and scientists up at night. The official story, the one you'll find in most textbooks, is that the answer is likely far more mundane and far more chilling. The Babylonian Empire was a place of constant conflict. It rose and fell multiple times, conquered by the Hittites, the Assyrians, and finally the Persians. Libraries were burned, cities were razed to the ground. In this chaos, knowledge was a fragile thing, often held by a very small class of elite scribes and priests. If that class was wiped out, their knowledge could be lost forever. It's possible that the perfect trigonometry of Plimpton 322 was a secret, a powerful tool guarded by a select few. When they were gone, the secret died with them. It's a clean, simple explanation, but many people are starting to believe it's just too simple. Does this stuff really happen overnight? Does a society just wake up one day with a perfect understanding of math that is more advanced than what the Greeks would develop over a thousand years later? Or are we missing a key detail? The discovery forces us to wonder if history is not a straight lineup, but a series of peaks and valleys. This is where the story takes a turn into the unknown, because the tablet doesn't just challenge history, it opens the door to theories that are far wilder. What if the Babylonians weren't the inventors of this math at all? What if they were just the inheritors? Think about it. This theory suggests there was a much older, globally advanced precursor civilization, a true lost golden age, that collapsed thousands of years before Babylon even existed. In the aftermath, survivors scattered across the globe, carrying with them only fragments of their former glory. Perhaps Plimpton 322 is one of those fragments, a single page from a lost scientific textbook preserved by Babylonian scribes who may not have even fully understood its power. It would explain why we see similar out-of-place knowledge in other parts of the ancient world. It recasts the Babylonians not as pioneers, but as librarians for a world that has been almost completely erased from memory. But let's push it even further. The thing nobody tells you is that ancient Babylonian texts, like those of their Sumerian predecessors, are filled with stories of powerful beings who came down from the heavens to teach mankind. They called them the Anunnaki, and they were credited with giving humanity the gifts of law, agriculture, and science. Is it really so crazy to wonder if this perfect math wasn't a human invention at all? Could it be an extraterrestrial language, a divine blueprint for understanding the universe, handed down to a select group of priests? Maybe the tablet is less of a human textbook and more of a user manual, left behind by visitors from another world. Then there's the most unsettling theory of all. What if the knowledge wasn't lost, but was deliberately hidden? Imagine you were part of a secret society of scribes who understood this perfect math. You would realize that it was a key, a key to building monumental structures, predicting the movement of the heavens, and perhaps even creating technologies that could be used as devastating weapons. You might look at the world around you, filled with war and greed, and decide that humanity simply wasn't ready for it. So, you hide it. Not by burying it, but by leaving it in plain sight, disguised as a boring accounting ledger that no one would look at twice for thousands of years, waiting for a future civilization with a mind, perhaps an artificial one, capable of finally understanding the message. Did humanity have a technological reset? Are we just rediscovering the powerful secrets our ancestors already knew? Let us know your thoughts below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more journeys into the unknown.